and Mr. Chair, to also show up from the Arizona delegation. I would just like to uh, first like to start out by saying that I find women to be problem solvers, and that this uh, ratification is extremely important for our society today. Um, just to point out in the opening statement that in the past, since 1982, they have been constantly bringing this up every year, but it's going to be re it's being rejected. But I find that our constituents are constantly suggesting this as a way to fix our problems because everyone in America has the opportunity to do so. Thus, as well as our political leaders, which are trying to ratify such a thing in order to allow each and every one of us to be prosperous. And on the topic of militarization and frontline combat and women not being able to perform as well or just the body armors not going to work for them, this is completely not true, seeing that in Israel there's an auto draft which and every single person has to sign up for the military regardless of their gender. And according to the New York Times uh, 2010 of last year, there was basically saying that women were performing nearly as good as men were doing in frontline combat. This is extremely important to notice and at the same time we have to recognize it. And we also like to look at the fact that even though this is not going to protect uh, women because it's changing like from domestic violence to regular basic assault, I would just like to mention, mention this. States change their laws based on what the federal government does. They're going to do so no matter what. If the feds can do something such as this, the states will follow and they will change the course of action. Women can do something that, are ex that is extremely important. And by passing this ratification and ranking it low as possible, we can do so. Thank you. Bailey, Bailey, Alabama, I reserve my right to yield to Baker from Florida. That is your right. Um, although I am a woman and I love being a woman, um, I do find the ERA slightly offensive. Um, I like to consider myself strong, independent-minded, and can take care of myself. Um, but also, there, are, there is already a method in our legal system to go about um, trials for women who feel like they have been discriminated. In three support, excuse me, Supreme Court cases, for example, Craig v. Warren, U.S. v. Virginia, and Jeff v. Alabama, the Supreme Court has used the intermediate scrutiny test to determine if women have been gender discriminated. And with that, I yield my, yield my time to Baker. Thank you, Sir Chair. Thank you, fellow delegate. Um, my fellow delegates, there are reasons why this proposal, um, the original uh, form, has died out. It's just other forms of legislation have been passed to guarantee or at least have fail safe for women's rights. Um, as the uh, previous delegate said, there are ways that women can bring up uh, corporate injustices. So really, this proposal is the theme is outdated and is no longer necessary. Thank you, delegate. Thank you, Sir Chair. James Johnson, New York delegation. I reserve the right to yield the remainder of my time to the delegate from Minnesota. That is your right. Okay. Quality of life is paramount. For a nation that prides itself on the words life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in its own constitution, and liberty and justice for all its delegates, it's right here. Don't worry, I haven't lost it. For a nation that pride includes the words life, yeah, sorry, liberty and justice for all, and it's pleasure to believe we certainly don't live up to them very well. In fact, the women are treated equally as men, and it has been proven that women can do just as a good job as men, and even better in the select fields. This is Anyway. It's time to go back to our roots and go into the founding fathers' thought. It would be right for a country, the enlightenment philosophy, that everyone has an equal chance to make a difference, to have a good life, have a great time doing it. I yield the rest of my time to Michigan. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We, we need to pass this because although there may have been uh, certain side effects, as uh, previous speakers may have mentioned, when uh, we, we pass this Equal Rights Amendment, this can hardly be the only change we make to our legal system. If we wish, we can make sure that some extent of those protections maintain, are maintained through further legislation. It is possible to amend and keep evolving our legal system. We don't have to stay true to an amendment written in 1923. Uh, we can modernize it. I yield my time. Okay, sure. Hey, my name is Nathan from Oklahoma. Um, I, 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 while I applaud, uh, I, I real, real the, reserve my right to yield my time to. Yeah, please display your placard first. Hadigan from, from Maine. Um, while I applaud the intent of this proposal, 
I'm against it because while we might have an amendment, it might, it will not guarantee the rights because while we have, while African Americans had the amendment at, during so many years ago, they had to fight for their civil rights for so many years before they were able to get them. Um, another thing I would like to say is, um, while, like I said, um, we have no way to enforce it, and there's no way for for us to make sure that it is followed. I yield my time to Mr. Cadden. Uh, thank you. I have the 14th Amendment right here to find a citizen as all persons born or naturalized in the United States. All persons. The only place where it mentions specifically males is in reference to voting rights. And in the 19th Amendment, which came later, it says the rights of citizens of the United States, which has already been defined as persons. Uh, I see no need for this amendment uh, based on the Constitution. Are you a long time with you? Uh, thank you. Can we all come off a Massachusetts delegation? I'd just like to address a couple points first. First of all, this is a proposal. There is room for improvement in a proposal because it's not, I'm not presenting a bill or an actual piece of legislation. I don't want to lose focus from that point. Also, the fact that it revokes protection. Uh, domestic violence means violence against a spouse. So women would still be per, per, uh, protected. Um, I'd like to also mention that in the last hand-to-hand -hand combat amongst um, military men and women, a hundred pound woman won. I'd just like to say that. And I'm not expecting a construction agency to hire a skinny, 100-pound woman who can barely lift a brick. They'll still hire someone who fits their job description. That doesn't change that fact. And there may be many laws in place to protect against discrimination, but that is not the point. There is no constitutional protection for women completely to equal them to men. And I guess... I'm part of the minority that is not happy with having no constitutional protection. I know I am a strong woman, and I know I can stand up for my beliefs, but I would also like the constitutional protection that I know that I deserve. Some believe that the repercussions of this amendment's passage are being overlooked by women too enthralled with its promise. And that's not true. We know what equality means. We know that it will remove some of the privileges we are given. But the positive impacts the amendment will have on the lives of women in the long run will outweigh all of the small downfalls along the way. No longer will women be held to a lower legal bar in domestic affairs. No longer will pay grade be significantly less than men. No longer will equality in our nation be an abstract thought. True, just because the ERA is passed doesn't suddenly mean women will be treated with the fairness that we deserve. But changes this big aren't expected to happen overnight. They just need a catalyst. Equality should be an unalienable right of our country. And like those rights set down by our forefathers, it needs to be protected in the most secure way by the unarguable words of the Constitution. So please consider that when you say A or nay, that that is the point of my proposal, nothing else. Thank you. I yield my time to the All those in favor, please stand and say aye. Aye. All those opposed by the same? Proposal number 365 does not pass. The vision is heard and not recognized.